Hi friends, welcome to Pinterest 30 Day Challenge and today's challenge is uh, Hot Air Balloons and I got my <coughs> inspiration from um, Pinterest and I just cut out a pattern of a hot air balloon um, with the picture I saw at Pinterest it had five hot air balloons put together and I decided to do 15 and I use this music paper here and so that's how I made the hot air balloon so I cut out a pattern and I just cut a bunch of paper together and did it that way and then the second one I realized hey I could just cut more paper if I went sideways and use your brain <laughs> and then I'm like okay saving on my scrap paper so this project it was um, recycled old music um, books paper and then I used five different colors and I painted um, the balloons, hot air balloons with that. The first bunch I did, I did both sides and I'm like realized I am gluing one side down so I don't need to paint both sides so that was silly <laughs> but I did um, orange and a nice pinky here then a nice blue, purple, and the green. And this is all uh, metallic. Um, actually, this is um, Misters from Deco Art. And I just decided to paint them on because I just didn't want to get sprayed all over the place. So I just thought I'd just paint it on with a brush. And yeah, for some reason, I wasn't thinking through this part here. I realized after I glued them that I didn't need to paint both sides because they're going to get glued together. So. So I am just gluing these together with glue stick and I just did the first batch and then this is what I'm thinking, oh yeah, look at me, I um, painted both sides and I'm gluing them together, you're not going to see it anyway. So then I'm like, oh, just paint one side. So I continue painting my other ones um, and I just needed to do the one side <laughs> and that's what I did. So then I continued all 15 of these and then I started gluing them together with my glue stick once again. At this point I'm just trim, trimming them up a little bit to make my edges match and then I decided that I want to do some messing around with it and do some inking. So I use my black archival ink and start stamping them and inking them up with that different stamps and starting to make it more of a mixed media piece. I'm scraping white paint on it just to give it some, I don't know, just a neat look. I like it um, 
take some of that color back and make a little difference in the project here. I really like the grunge look that was coming out of it. And that was just white um, deco art paint. I'm using a card to scrape it on. I decided to pull out my stencil and some gold and start working on um, the balloons like this. And I was going to wait for it to dry, but I thought this was going to take forever. I flipped it on the other side on. My original plan was, oh, I was going to let it dry and then do um, individual as they dry. And I just decided to go for it and just do them all and peel whatever happens, happens because I didn't have the patience to let it dry. So I just tried to dry as much as I could and get that gold on there and keep going and check every once in a while peel them apart and hope for the best and that's what I did and I really like how it turned out it worked pretty good and I just put that gold on the top there scraped it down and it worked just like screening it on there worked great Now I'm putting um, my Mr.'s black into this paint tray here and I'm just getting um, all my edges black and I don't care that it's just kind of getting everywhere. I just want to look um, mm, grunge and I thought this would be a little faster too than um, inking up all the edges and I kind of really like the way it looked up doing this. So I'm trying to dry it up a little bit but then at this point I think did I have to leave it for a little bit or did I, I, I can't remember if I left it for a bit to dry anyways then I get my um, deco art what pen here and it's a glass writer but I use it on journaling and whatnot and I'm just doing some doodling and that kind of thing with it just to see it you know you'll see a little bit as the, the hot air balloons kind of hanging there so I'm just doodling and doing a little bit on the edges Now I'm working on the um, bucket of the hot air balloon and I just cut a toilet paper roll in half or a little less than half, make the bucket and put the other part, open it up and use that as my bottom of my bucket. I put glue all the way around, I put some strings on it to attach to the balloon and then I put lace all around, some colored kind of lace I got in Happy Meal. Um, I ended up changing the strings and cutting them down and putting chains on them so I didn't like the way the string looked at the end it was because it was dyed and it was, it was really kinked and I couldn't it wasn't enough weight in there to um, straighten up the, the ribbon so I ended up putting chains so I just put holes but I didn't make a video of that I'm adding a little last minute spraying color to my bucket. Um, I do change the string on top to the green ribbon and uh, 
add a little bit more glue. I used the stick to stick it through and add a little bit more glue. I had glue in there. And that is my picture of the chain one hanging. And I hope you guys enjoyed this project. And check us out in International Crafters to see what's going on for our 30-day Pinterest, um, our Pinterest 30-day challenge. Thanks, guys, for watching. And go check out Nikki Parr's uh, channel to um, see what she's making. Bye, guys. Thank you.